I felt like it was a hole I was always missing, right? Like coming from where I come from, having the kind of childhood I, I, I did, it was hard to have faith, you know? Mm -hmm. And a, it's definitely a hole that you feel. Like people can believe, not believe, whatever. Like that's not my job to convince them of that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Back in July, Amber Librock, an American MMA fighter, competing in the featherweight division of the Professional Fighters League, made a shocking confession. Amber took an important step in her life by pledging the creed. This decision was made after Amber was introduced to Islam by a Muslim mentor who gave her a deep insight into the religion. MJ, who has always been a mentor of mine, he introduced me to the faith and he helped me convert. I think it's helped her tremendously with the fight and the patience. Uh, sabr and um, just the tolerance, just dealing with the, the nerves, trusting God, you know, trusting God to guide her. You know, we just try to help them in their journey in life and fighting and above and beyond that. Apparently, Amber embraced Islam after going through a difficult time in her life. One of the pivotal moments in her transformation was when she lost a fight against Larissa Pacheco. Although her defeat in the fight was not the only factor, the change came as a reaction to a series of personal problems she was experiencing. I converted to Islam about five weeks ago. After the Larissa fight, you know, some personal things happened and I was just kind of in a really dark, like lost place. And I was just asking God over and over again, like, please, like, just, just help me, like, you know, fill my heart, fill my soul. Ashadu, Ashadu, Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illa, Illa. Allah, Allah. After pledging her Islam at the Muslim Community Center in East Bay, California, USA, in front of the media, Amber Liebrock happily shared her happiness after embracing Islam. I just wanted to ask, uh, how do you feel like your discipline has changed with your conversion to Islam, and how do you feel like? Uh, it kind of matches with your martial arts like lifestyle. For me to um, actually have to practice my religion every day, you know, as, as a Muslim, you pray five times a day, like every day, you're all constantly, you know, I read my Quran every day, especially being a new convert, like, you know, I really want to make sure that I'm giving it everything that I can because um, it's saved my life. It's changed me 100%. It's really pushed me into a place that I wasn't before and I haven't been this happy or this grateful or just feeling like as blessed as I've ever felt and win, loss, whatever, like I still will go home, I'll go to the mosque on Friday, and I'll still be, you know what I mean, like in it 100% because I've never felt as good and connected with myself in the world and with Allah as I do right now. Allah. The bottom line is that one's life can change in unexpected ways, and religious faith can give deeper meaning to life's journey. While we don't know what will happen next in Amber's journey, our prayers can provide strength for ourselves and our Muslim brothers and sisters out there. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.